Hello YouTube, how's going? It is that time of the year in Finland when you are supposed to spend some time under your car. This time I'm gonna install a product called Real Gauge. I'll put some info down into the description. As we all XK owners already should know, the temperature and oil pressure dials are fake and this product will fix that situation. The product comes in with two parts, the first being the real gauge, which will fix the uh, temperature gauge, and then there is an additional option, which will fix the uh, oil pressure gauge. All you need is some tools and some RAM to keep you warm. And here we are. This panel's upper part is really loose, so I'll take the opportunity and check that as well. That switch is something which someone of the previous owners has installed. This vehicle has the original horns and then some add-on horns. It is a three-way switch and in the middle position none of the horns are operational. And of course someday I managed to kick it to neutral without noticing it and then I thought my horn was broken until I noticed that switch. I need to relocate that switch someday. Pull out the upper part of the panel and it should come off. There is a valid switch connector and another one for the aspirator. Nope, nothing here. No wonder the panel hangs loose. Something is here, but it is also very loose. Not sure if this is supposed to come off. Okay, this thing is missing from the other side. This is the back side of the panel. Looks like this part has gotten some water or other liquid. So rusty. Not sure if water can leave this kind of marks on the paper label. Makes me wonder how anything liquid can get into here. Okay, back to removing them panels. After removing the screws, push down and at the same time pull towards to yourself. This was a bit tight and I need, needed to wiggle it quite a lot until it came to loose.
This was also surprisingly tight. You might want to pull the connector slightly at the same time when you are twisting the lever. Applying any unnecessary force to the plastic parts scares me. The instrument panel is held by four bolts. A magnetic socket would be handy here. I had to fish out the bolt by my fingers. There is some odd sticky goo here. Never seen stuff like this before. When I was trying to pull the instrument panel off, something was on the way on the left side. I used this ice cream wooden stick to push it aside and then the panel came off nicely. Mm. It was the 23rd of December 2020 when I was shooting this. The food is on its way. Now that I'm watching this on the edit, it is clearly visible that the alcohol was not dried off and therefore the velcro strip refused to stick. Now it is dry.
I did not realize that there was this black thing which was not supposed to come off with the connector. Removing that black thing was not exactly a success. I also decided to change all the backlight bulbs. Here you can see the bulbs which I removed from the instru instrument panel. I saw these bulb names mentioned in the Jaguar forums. Seems that the bulb names are different in the US than here in Finland. While editing this I noticed the text push it downwards. Oh well. Anyways. Finally the terms T5 and T10 lead me, led me to the right direction. Also, the wattage was not clear. For the small bulbs, the 1.2 watts was the only version available at the shop. For the bigger bulbs, there was a 3 watt and 5 watt version. I chose the 3 watt as I do not want to generate any unnecessary heat. For me, fairly dim backlight is quite okay. back to the real gauge stuff. Now into the hard part, which is digging out the correct wires from the harness and connecting the real gauge to those wires. The instructions outlined the correct pin numbers, so I dug out the connectors to see the pin numbering. Here.
These bigger posi taps were straightforward to install. The smaller ones were a bit more difficult, I do not know, but it felt that the threads did not align easily. I should have practiced this before starting to install the small posi taps. Eventually all went good, but I was pretty afraid that I would screw the threads. And the same story on this side.
Okay, everything's connected. Time to check things out. First, connect the battery. Then do the check sequence. Finally, start the engine and let it run. I had to run the engine about 10 minutes until it reached the maximum temperature rating, which is visible here. Ah, oh, everything is working perfectly. I think I'll stop here, this is getting awful long already. Um, I'll start working with the oil pressure option and I'll, I'll compile another video out of that. Happy New Year YouTube! I wish you all the best for 2021, stay safe! and take your vaccine. See you later.